Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Our next guest has a passion to empower and minister through beauty and poise and etiquette. If you're looking for something different to do during the homecoming festivities, maybe a tea party, maybe your cup of tea. Please welcome beauty editor, Ty Cooper. Yay! <laughs> this is so super fun! Yes, it is! Yes, it is! So before we get into this tablescape, why do people have high tea? People have high tea. First of all, let's take it back. So, um, in England, of course, that's kind of where it started. However, the first social media and the first social interactions happened at high tea. Ooh. So the first, like, you know, what's the tea? Mm -hmm. It first, it started at actually the high tea parties. Oh, okay. So it's a way for ladies to get together in the afternoon to talk and sip a little tea and also share some tea. Gossip, in other <laughs> words. <Right. laughs> so what's the proper attire for a tea party? Darling, the proper attire is what we have on today. <laughs> it is your Chanel pins, it's everything dolls up. It's the beautiful fascinator hats. And also, of course, your gloves. And also, you wanna make sure that your attire is very nice and poised. Not a lot of cleavage, of course, but very highly polished. Woohoo! So, what is the proper etiquette? And why is proper etiquette so important? Proper etiquette, first of all, you only get seven seconds to give that impression or the right impression. So etiquette is very important because it's really not about us, right? Right. It's about how I make you feel Ooh. about me and you <laughs> at the table. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you want to make sure that your guest around you is not uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. You want to make sure that you are highly poised mm -hmm. and you sit up straight. You are 12 inches above and below your shoulders. You want to make sure you're sitting up like we are, darling. Yes, darling. <laughs> so, let's get into this tablescape. Walk us through everything on the table. Yes, so of course we have our tea setting here, but I want to make sure I point out one thing. Mm -hmm. So whenever you're about to sip your tea, first of all, darling, let me pour you a little bit. Thank you, darling. <laughs> so, we want to make sure that your tea does not splatter. And as you can see, we have a teacup. We also have a cream or and sugar. Now, you want to make sure at a high tea party that you're utilizing sugar cubes and not the pouring sugar. So, whenever we go for the cup, darling, mm -hmm. you want to make sure you do not pick up your saucer as well. Oh, I've seen people do that oh and it looks like God. this. You, no, absolutely <laughs> not. You do not do this. First of all, this is very delicate and very antique and it's bone china. So you want to make sure you do not break it. But why do they do, do they do this so they won't spill the tea? To be it, honest. It doesn't look as cute. It no, just it doesn't. does not. It, it doesn't. It doesn't. And, and we and, can tell. And what about the pinky? <laughs> oh, no. So what do you think? Pinkies I, up or pinkies I've down? seen pinkies up. I don't really like pinkies up, but a lot of people do. I don't go for the pinky up. Trina, I know you've done this before, darling, because pinkies are down at high tea. Are you <laughs> they serious? Most they are, darling. <laughs> <laughs> you you want to make sure your pinkies are down. Yes. Only if you are an AKA soror, of course, those pinkies are up. All right, now, I can't, say, I can't speak to that because I'm just me by me. However, I like my high tea. Hello. Hello. So what about the proper way to stir your tea because we've all been around that person who does this. Oh my gosh. So, like I said before, etiquette is really important because you want to make sure you do not offend or make the person next to you or close to you offensive or you don't want to make sure they're feeling awkward about your mm -hmm. sounds that you're making. So you want to make sure you do not stir in a circular motion. Yeah. You actually stir front to back. Yes. This is not get out. We are not trying to hypnotize Why? anyone, okay? <laughs> so tell us about your event this weekend. Tell us about High Beauty Party. Oh my gosh. So the High Beauty Party was ultimately fashioned by myself because I am a makeup artist, beauty expert as well. Mm -hmm. And when I went to school, I had to pretty much pay for my entire tuition because the government does not fund scholarships or any grants 
towards anyone that's in the profession of beauty. So cosmetologists, wow. makeup artists, barbers. And so right now we're in an industry where we see a lot of social media or YouTube, things that's happening, but they're Ooh. doing that to themselves. It's important right. as a professional that you make sure that you're licensed. So we're giving back scholarships that's ultimately. Amazing. Yes, amazing. at this high tea. So that's all that is for. I want to thank my sponsors, Cream of Nature and also Glamling. Okay, well, thank you so much for coming to the circle. We enjoyed you so thank much. You. If you're in Atlanta, you can experience this amazing tea party in person by purchasing your very own tickets at highbeautyparty.com.